Good morning, everyone. I am sitting here working and I was thinking and then I had these thoughts about alignment, which is something that I talk about often that I wanted to share, but I didn't feel like getting all the lighting and all of that other good stuff ready. And then I only had a few minutes, but I thought I'd take a moment of inspired action to come on and share something with you all that I think is so important. Um, I say that whatever we don't own, we cannot fix. But I find that most often the reason we don't own it is because we're not aware. And sometimes when you'll see in the picture that's showing above, I, I am live, um, guys. Good morning. How is everyone? I didn't speak or I'm just... Uh, taking this moment, I had this feeling that I wanted to share while it was, you know, on my heart, the way that it was on my heart. But I want to share two things with you that happen when we are out of alignment. And I was telling you guys that we um, can't fix what we don't own. And most oftentimes, owning it is not always because we just don't want to own it. It's often because we aren't aware. So there's different levels of awareness. I've talked about it um, before, but sometimes there's a space where we're just going through the motions and not even really processing, you know, the things that are transpiring. As it relates to my relationship with my daughter and what I want for her the most, one of the one of my most important um, life lessons that I would love for her to get, you know, I can't control that, but I can impact it, you know, by what I share with her. And that's for her to figure out what it is that she wants to do with her life. Now, many of you will come on and say, well, we never know what we want to do with our life at such an early age, which is, is, is definitely um, true as in what we see. The majority of us don't know. But I feel that there is a track that we can get on that will help us to determine what we want to do with our life. And I don't feel that society teaches us to get on that track as in um, going to school, going to high school, then college. You know, so many people are going and getting degrees and certificates and taking trainings and classes and courses that really have nothing to do with putting their life into alignment. It's something someone shared with them they thought was a good idea or this was the popular money-making thing. So they thought, or when most people are stuck, they go and say, well, I'm going to go and get another degree. And I feel that education is super important. It's actually one of my top five values. But I also believe that as individuals, we have a unique um, makeup or DNA or um, destiny alignment that is specific to us. And the sooner we get on the track of discovering that, I think we will always be discovering, um, you know, more of who we are and another higher version of ourselves. I think we will always be reinventing and evolving and growing. However, I do feel there is a unique makeup and design for us that we can start even the children off early, at least in a space of discovery and not just kind of taking life as it comes. So I just want to share my thoughts on alignment with you really quick before I get back to work over here behind the scenes. There are two things that happen, um, two distinct things that happen when our life is out of alignment. And the number one thing is we connect with the wrong people. We connect with the wrong people. Now, many of you, if you've lived long enough, you can look back over the path or your journey or your path in life where you may say, for instance, you run into someone that you haven't seen in a long time and you're like, why, why was I even connected? Like, where did that particular season of me, you know, being in their life or them being in my life come from when that's not who I am. 
Now, if you come back on the comments, um, put me in the comments if you've ever like had this moment where you're like, what was I thinking? Or not even necessarily what was I thinking, like why was I there? Why was I connected to these or that uh, particular people? So the number one thing that happens when our life is out of alignment, we connect with the wrong people. Guys, relationships are so powerful. They're vehicles that are designed for us to get to our next level. And when those vehicles that we're riding in, you know, the relationships are out of alignment with purpose, it impacts every area of our life. Sometimes those relationships impact us so profoundly that they not only impact us in that moment and in that season, but they become a lifelong connection. Maybe, you know, it's someone we may have had children with or been in a relation with. They become this lifelong part of our life even when we've moved on. Number two, the number two thing that happens when our life is out of alignment, we spend time in unfruitful opportunities. Tedra, good morning. How are you, dear? When our life is out of alignment, we spend time in unfruitful opportunities. I, I was sharing with you all that one of the really important things for me is to help my daughter in the lane of discovery. And discovery is actually one of the sessions that I teach inside 3D Success Academy um, because I think it's so important. I think we have different stages in our life and in our business where we just need to rediscover who we are. And I was sharing with you that, you know, when I talk to my daughter, I share with her, figure out what it is you want to, to do with your life. That may not be like her whole entire life because we'll grow and we'll continue to evolve, but figure out what's important to you in this this season. Because once you're able to define that, it begins to dictate, number one, the number one thing that goes wrong when our life is out of alignment, it begins to dictate the relationships, the partnerships, the collaborations. It begins to dictate all of that when we've gotten clear about where we want to be, even if it's just in the next year or two years or three years, when we have discovered what that looks like, it begins to answer a lot of the questions that we often, you know, have in our head, like, you know, who am I going to be with and all of those things. The number two reason I am always sharing with her to um, be in a space of discovery further than just her right now, because sometimes we do things in the moment that impact our life forever because we didn't have a clear picture or, or any clarity about what we wanted the next two, three, five, 10, 20 years of our life to look like, is spending time in unfruitful opportunities. So, I mean, some people hear um, information like this and they feel like it's a, a means of restriction, but I feel what's really restricting people in their life and their business is the choices that they made when they had no clarity about who they were or um, who they wanted or desired to be in life. Good morning, Jenny. How are you? So discovery is so important, guys. Two things that happen when our life is out of alignment. We connect with the wrong people. And number two, we spend time in unfruitful opportunities. Here's some signs I want to share with you all that you are out of alignment, that your life is out of alignment, what you're doing in, in your business is out of alignment. Um, and I know these things, one, through experience, and of course, as my um, in my time in working with individuals as a business coach and a mentor, um, signs that you're out of alignment. If you feel exhausted from trying so hard and not seeing results, it is a huge sign that your business, your life, your efforts are out of alignment. Number two, people connected to you are impacted and starting to complain about your lack of follow through, poor performance, or not being present. When I remember when I first opened my brick and mortar service based business, so for those of you, this is your first time listening. I am, um, I've been an entrepreneur over 27 years and um, I owned a brick and mortar service based business for 10 years prior to um, reinventing and becoming a consultant for women in business 
just like you, um, which is what I do now full time. And when I opened my brick and mortar business, I opened my business, then I got married, and then I had a baby in a three-year time frame, in that order, in a three-year time frame. And, you know, my marriage relationship was dysfunctional. So all of that stuff was rolling all together. I felt stuck. I felt exhausted. I felt like things were not working out. Good morning, Renee. How are you, dear? And I said, I have to get unstuck. I can no longer just walk through this as if it's just going to magically get better on its own, as if time is going to make it better. Because people say all the time that time heals things and time makes things better. Good morning, Nisha. Nisha, are you able to hear me? You guys tap the screen for hearts. Let me know if you all can hear me because I see people's names popping up, but I can't tell if you guys can hear me. And, you know, if you watch me, you know, I live in the boonies and I have the highest um, internet service possible um, in this area, which is going to change soon. I, I have to do something different uh, where that is concerned. But if you guys can hear me, just tap the screen, you know, show a heart or like or put it in the comments if, a, if I'm coming in clear, although I am going to keep going uh, because I find that sometimes after I come on, it's, it's clear. It's uh, more clear once it's finished. So if, you're, if you feel exhausted from trying so hard and not seeing results, that is a sign that you're out of alignment. If people who are connected to you are impacted and starting to complain about your lack of follow through, poor performance, and not being present, it is a sign that you're out of alignment. If you feel stuck, it's a sign that you're out of alignment and getting unstuck happens because of the actions that you put towards the things that are not working. So for me, it was, you know, opening the business, having the responsibility of the business. I hired up to 12 staff members if we were full staffed um, at one time. I had a baby. Um, I was in, you know, trouble in paradise in my marriage all in a three year time frame. And I said, there's no way I can continue to do this for years. So I began to create these strategies to get unstuck that have been profound. So I've been using the strategies now for almost a decade and teaching them to other people to help them maneuver through the responsibilities of life and business. There has to be some action to put you into alignment. Um, what happens, remember I shared that one of the things is people connected to you, you know, they start complaining about, you know, how we're not showing up or how we're not fulfilling, you know, our different responsibilities and how it's impacting them. It is a sign, you know, that we're out of alignment. And what happens is we begin to get a lot of negative talk and a lot of negative feedback. And if we aren't careful, we start believing it, even though that's not our original purpose. It's not how our life should be going. It's not how things should be flowing. We begin to believe, you know, the, the naysayers and the negative thoughts and things that are coming through because our life is out of alignment. So sometimes um, people say that they have haters and in actuality, it may be people complaining about the things that are transpiring because we are out of alignment, because of how we are impacting people and situations around us. And so I just don't believe that everybody is hating on us. Now, I do believe that um, there are people who are uncomfortable with your growth, and that's just what it is. And sometimes their uncomfortableness and the things that they say is not necessarily um, because they are angry with you or being deceptive. It's just because what you're doing is so new to them and it highlights some of the things that they actually need to change. But there are seasons where we're just out of alignment. Here are some questions. Um, well, let me tell you guys what alignment is, which I should have done that first and I didn't do an introduction. For those of you, this is your first time. I'm Tanya Wilson Cherry, growth strategist, business coach and mentor to women service-based business owners just like yourself, helping them brand, build, and profit in their business and in their life. I believe that your life and your business are intertwined. I believe that when we step into a space of self-discovery, self-awareness, and self-mastery, it impacts everything else that we do. Our relationships, our business, our money, you know, our coin, it impacts everything. 
And one of the most noble things that we can do for ourselves is get into a space of self-awareness and get on a track of self-mastery. Because once we begin to master who we are, master our emotions, master our alignment, it impacts our business. It impacts everything else that we do. I believe that your business should fund your lifestyle and not run your lifestyle. And I teach tools, concepts, and strategies to help women in business to get their business and life in alignment with their purpose, with what they desire to do, what, with what they deserve. I help them to step into a higher version of themselves and embrace um, the process of what happens in between in a space where it's no longer feeling crazy, right? But they are shifting and looking at the process as part of the purpose and not, you know, life is unfair. I help I empower them to take authority over their life and the things that they are responsible to in order to see a future, you know, bigger than their past. I help them shift their mindset into a space of abundance, realizing that all of the resources, all of the energy, whatever it is that they need is really supply and abundance. And once we get into a space of alignment, all of that begins to shift. The clarity changes. Like this morning, it was so foggy out when I was taking my daughter out. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't see anything um, a certain number of feet ahead of me. And so I had to drive more slowly and be more aware and present of the things that are around me when ordinarily I would just drive kind of like on autopilot. And when things are out of alignment, when things are cloudy, those are times that we do need to get in a position and be more aware of things that are going on um, in our life. We may need to slow down and get in a space of reflection. I'm also the founder of 3D Success Academy, where we focus on three core pillars, um, your destiny, your dollars, which is your money, the money you're earning in your life and your business, and then the disciplines needed in order to make that happen. Now, discipline is a word that most people look at as masculine. They may run from discipline, but discipline is simply the necessary things that you commit to in order to do what it is that you say that you want and you desire in your life. And so those are the three core principles that the Academy is a fa is founded on. It is a 12 month track. However, there is a monthly opportunity. And for those who get in it and um, they feel they've gotten all of the value after a three month commitment, they can unsubscribe from the opportunity at any time. Um, we are today the... Um, early opportunity to join in today. We start on March the 1st. If you feel that your life and business is out of alignment and you are ready to possibly rebrand your business or simply brand your business so that you can go from the generalist to the specialist, if you're ready to get your life, your money, um, and have a full circle experience, this is an amazing opportunity for you to invest in yourself. One year of focus on the right things can change the trajectory of your entire life and your entire business. I believe accountability is huge, which is one of the things that we provide. Um, and then having a mentor is invaluable in your life. And I stand in that space of support as the, the coach and teacher and trainer and mentor in that particular academy. For those of you who know you're interested, you can go to renewfullcircle.com slash 3DA. And I'll put that in the comments. I don't know if I put it at the top, but um, <clears throat> the early opportunity ends today. Uh, if you know, like, I just don't want to be out of alignment anymore. I want to ask you guys, um, well, one, I'm giving you the invitation to join us, but there are three questions I want to ask you as it relates to alignment and getting your life in alignment. I believe that powerful questions impact our life. Most of the time, what we have not reached is because we have not been asked the right questions. And those questions lead to the next steps and the necessary actions that we need to take to get our life in alignment. Um, one, are you making choices that support what you really want? Are you making choices that support what you really want? And I'll give you guys an example. So I transitioned, I closed my brick and mortar service based business after 10 years and maybe for about a year and a half, 
I just operated as a single service provider. So I wasn't responsible for staff, um, huge overhead. I used that as a time of reflection and, um, you know, shifting and really getting things in alignment with where I desired my life to really be. And what happened during that time frame, I noticed that I was getting comfortable in that space of just being just the service provider, you know, having, you know, some freedoms that I didn't have before. And although it was good, it was not putting me in a position where I was making choices that supported what I really and truly desired, which was to be able to earn revenue without always having to trade my time for dollars. So I had, I think it's important, I think um, year-long tracks, which is why I created the Academy for a year, because there are some women who really want to see significant change in their life and their business, and it's for those who are ready. I'm ready to provide the support at a next level, give you opportunities and things that you haven't thought about, help you to create partnerships, position your brand, position your life so that you can soar. And I took that year, which was my goal, and kind of started turning into a year and a half because I got comfortable in what was good, but what what was not great for me. So I had to begin making choices that supported what I really wanted, not what was okay and just seemingly working for the moment, but what I really wanted. And when I you know, stepped into that space of awareness, I said, hey, you're getting comfortable in this position that's good for you, but it is not in alignment with what you really desire. And I see so many people who in their career or in, you know, their their life in regrets because they got comfortable in what was good, but was but was not great for their purpose or what they really, really desired. And I believe God places those desires in our heart so that we can position ourselves to receive it. One of the things we do inside the academy is I help you to position yourself to receive. So many of you may be operating from the space of a generalist and not a specialist. And when you get to the point where you're building your brand as a specialist, as the expert that you are, you begin to attract better opportunities, better clients, things of that nature. So I ask you on this morning, are you making choices that support what you really want? That's one question. The next question is, are you investing in yourself and supporting your goals, your dreams, and your values? Are you investing in yourself? And sometimes we confuse the routine and the work that we go to and we do every day as in investing in ourselves, but it becomes this routine that we never move out of, we never evolve, we never grow, and we never step fully into the space that re God really desires us to be in. And that's in a space where we can um, have impact and influence, not only in our lives, but in the lives that we are supposed to impact, help, and serve. I believe uh, something completely different about entrepreneurship. I believe that it is supposed to be the space where we step into spaces of influence and impact and where God actually allows us to operate in our God-given gifts at a higher capacity, continue to grow, learn, tweak, change, and, and help other people. That's what I feel. And of course, to earn great revenues because some of the impact and influence we're able to do is through you know our giving and our serving. Um, number three, the third question is, are you giving yourself permission to change your priorities? So people say, um, maybe they'll see someone that they feel doesn't have any priorities. Everybody has priorities. Everybody has something that they're committed to. The question is, what is it that they're committed to? And many times when you're wanting to, you know, grow your brand, your business and your life, you have to make new priorities. You have to decide what things are now going to become priority in your life. Is it your finances? Is it your credit score? Is it um, the amount of money that you actually get to keep in your business? I'm going to come on later on my business page, facebook.com slash build with Tanya, and maybe do a lunch and learn when I'm finished with some of the work I need to do on the back end. But we're going to be talking about ghost money and um, things like uh, moving from being a generalist to a specialist. I believe that you're called, as God says, as a royal priesthood, and that's nothing general about that. So on this morning, I just wanted to share my take on 
the importance of life alignment, um, the importance of discovery. Discovery is actually a track that we do inside 3D Success Academy that helps you become clear on your purpose, your profits, um, and your positioning in this particular season. What does that look like? And then give you strategies in order to make that happen so that you can produce more profit in your business and your life. But discovery is an amazing track because it's a track of awareness. And many times we've moved to a space in our life where it's kind of like, uh, is this what the rest of it is going to look like? Not that it's so awful, but we just have this feeling on the inside that that's more. For those of you who are ready to step into the space of more, you know some things are, are out of alignment. I feel exhausted from trying hard and not seeing the results that I desire. Um, people who are connected to me, um, they're impacted. They're starting to complain, you know, lack of follow through, poor performance, or you feel stuck. I invite you to join us inside our academy where our three core pillars, destiny, dollars, and discipline will help you get into alignment and see the profits and the prosperity that you deserve. That's my take on this morning, guys. Remember the two main things that happen when we are out of alignment, we connect with the wrong people and we spend time in unfruitful opportunities that sometimes look great, sometimes look good, um, but they aren't great for our unique individual purpose. You guys have a super, super amazing day. Hop over to my business page a little later. I'm going to announce when I'll come on and do an actual live broadcast where um, you guys can see me. Peace.